Well, Echo VR is final here. I mean, it's in beta now. It's like, it's not a fully released product, but like it's an open that beta that will last up until the official release. But obviously people will just like jump on it. It's like, I maybe like the biggest title of this year that we have kind of announced on the Quest platform overall. Um, this is pre pretty much a Quest version of Echo VR that is on the PC VR. It's Echo Arena, just that, with, without the Echo Combat, I think. I'm not really very familiar with this uh, franchise. I do know that this game is like a really, pretty much I think the most popular game for esports scene, which is for me kind of intriguing because I was always interested in like esports in general uh, from starting the days when I was playing League of Legends um, nowadays because I do VR that would be pretty exciting and it's kind of the future of esports anyway so we'll see about that but overall about the game about the mechanics and stuff like that I'm not very familiar I'm like pretty much a total new player to it and I'm hopes that there's like a very intricate tutorial or there's gonna be um this is free and it's always gonna be free so we can already really say that this is gonna be the most popular application on the store um okay what do we have here because uh echo vr quest open beta life yeah pretty much that the discord i will join later What's the settings? See? Like, <laughs> I'm shaky, but like, that's just like... I don't know, my hands recently are that. <laughs> Controllers for audio, voice chat enable... Music is... Fair. Maybe a little bit... Lower. Give me five. Because it is an open beta, obviously... Obviously, I expect some... Bugs. In general now I saw that there's some stuttering I see the third time the screen stuttered and froze so that's the thing uh, click boost break push to talk mute enabling options activate punch wait so there is like permanently push to talk I have no yeah smooth rotation not recommended why Oh, is this the snap snap turning? No, no, enabled, yeah. I wonder what's this speed rotation, but okay. Let's go with normal. Head up display, enable job, pitch. I have no idea what does it mean. <laughs> oh, okay. This screen keeps freezing. Uh, credits legal. I guess just play. There's nothing more to see. What was it written? New player something? Cause that's... Okay. So this is, I, I think it's like a gameplay in space or like in ZRG environment. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Shit. Oh, okay. So now throwing mechanics. I wonder how receptive it is on Quest, but like, give me a disc now. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so it's like... You can't really release it too early. Uh huh. I'm yeah. I'm like releasing it too early, so like really, really need to like that. Okay, it's a little bit different, but I guess yeah, it's very different from the normal throwing mechanics. Like there's no like actual physics to it. I guess because of the zero G mecha physic. Back for what? Okay. At least that's something. 
But I don't see my throwing skills very high, at, at least now. Here is the smooth turning. Okay, great. Ah, so the movement is basically just whoa by, by grabbing. Okay. Ah, whoa. G. Ah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, that's gonna be way different from my other experiences on Quest. <laughs> It's like in this game's tracking is gonna be the most critical thing. It's good that we are on quest. And like the overhead tracking. Ah, uh, okay, got it. I did not play Lon Lon Echo. I feel like it's the same developers of that. Uh, oh. Okay. It's a good tutorial. That's kind of what I expected for a title like that. Woo. But yeah, I definitely have in plans to play Lone, Lone Echo and then the sequel when it's gonna be out. I like that tutorial actually. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be like a much stronger. Shut up! <laughs> oh. Okay, I mean... Ah, okay, so just pressing the joystick. I'm assuming arm thrusters are gonna be like, you know, permanent kind of. Ah. Woo! <laughs> Can I use arm thruster and my backpack at the same time? Yeah. And it kind of steers. Okay, great. Zombie. Makes sense. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought I'm gonna like you know. Wah, wah, wah. It's gonna be harder than I thought, but yeah, I I, I can't use those like uh, all the time. Like arm thrusters are like for more precision. Standing by. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was actually a tutorial. Enter the same sequence for new place. Great. Join a multiplayer lobby. First game? We'll see. <laughs> ah, this shit. <laughs> I guess this booster is sudden, it's not continuous. So it's like thrusters are actually like continuous, but this booster is to just 
change your sudden sudden uh, route of going whatever yeah yeah I'm going come tits Ooh. okay thank you sure It really seems cool. I kind of, you know, I don't know what I expected because I'm not familiar with the developers of Echo, Lone Echo, and in general this franchise. It's very polished. That kind of like, you know, I guess handling the player. <laughs> Woo! Which icon? Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh my god! You know, it's like the first impression of it is so, so fun. I'm not like familiar with Echo at all, but like this seems to be like such a fun thing. And it's kind of like, yeah, you can touch everything, you can like just bounce around but like yeah it, I'm glad that we're gonna have this on quest because quest have one of the best trackings so far now and I feel like this game is like critical in tracking overall so we'll see but like yeah the movement oh shit <laughs> I need to like really learn how to use the main booster shit. kinda I feel like that's, that's gonna be very critical, but like arm thrusters and just like, you know, rotating with that is gonna be very easy for me. Okay, yeah. I'm coming back there. It's kinda like, yeah, you, you can like touch it and like bounce from it, but like it's not very different from arm thrusters. But we'll see. Ooh. Okay. Oh <laughs> Thank you. That's the goal, okay. And this is like the shield just in front of it. This is literally VR soccer. I mean, I need to kinda get used to this tracking, like throwing, yeah, technique, really. I feel like it's... <sighs> yeah, like... I can't really throw it too early. It's like shooting it as the frisbee won't work here. Like you need to throw it like a ball, pretty much. Okay. So like a, like a ball is gonna be way easier. Like baseball or something. Shit, I'm bad. <laughs> um. Damn. Throwing is gonna be like an experience here. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, damn. I guess it's also gonna be other techniques like I don't know, up, uppercut throw or something. I can see why this game would go into esports because it's like a simple concept, but you can really. Make it complex. Defense. I might be good at defense, actually. We'll see. I wonder if, it, like, in soccer, it's like you can uh, have to can deflect it by just no, by not deflecting, just grabbing. Okay. I have a really like good coordination and like, grabbing. Like that, so we'll see. Oh, it bounces from the obstacles. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. It's good to know. Whoa. 
What is this? It's literally rugby. Yo. It's like really ma like mixes up so many gameplays from the real sports. Like boxing, rugby, soccer now. Um, now it's boxing pretty much. Oh my god, okay. This game is gonna be so cool to play. <laughs> oh, I hit myself. <laughs> oh my god, like it is so impressive. I love it, like. The gameplay is like I hate soccer like gameplay, but it seems like really it's gonna be like <laughs> VR soccer basically, which is great for the industry and uh, maybe I'll actually start liking that. Okay, thank you. I just kind of wanna explore first, not talk to people. <laughs> What's happening here? What do we have here? Main lobby. Ah, oh, it's like people who are here. Wow, what's going on there? Character customization. Oh shit! <laughs> Touch to begin. Ah, that's like your colors. Okay. I'm gonna play with it later. I wanna jump into the match and see what did I learn in this tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna also unmute myself. Versus AI or simulation? Ah, uh, you must complete one versus AI match to unlock. Com okay. Hello. Where's the disc? It's there. Okay. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Shit! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. It's there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Punch it! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let I go there. Uh huh. There's some chance. Where are the others there? Okay. I'm just gonna go close by, whatever. <laughs> Point blank. <laughs> Am I playing with AI? I can't tell. I need to practice on throwing. This is gonna be definitely a thing that I will do.
yeah I need to practice on that long shot so even the distance matters interesting okay <laughs> oh you can grab them okay Ah, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a goal here now. What the? <laughs> it's gonna bounce here. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I kinda like... S the controls are like... Ah, uh, you're gonna... You're getting the punch in the face. Anyways. Doesn't matter. Just... <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> anyway, we won, so it doesn't matter. I need to practice some precision and the like, controls overall too. Match complete, XP, items, save stance, ping. Ah, it seems like everyone is AI here. Oopsie, I was talking at myself, just per usual. I wanna play one competitive normal match. See how other players play. <laughs> because I've heard there are a lot of pro players playing it and people were complaining that they suck. But like, obviously, with the game that existed before and it is crossplay, of course, people will be playing here. Find Arena. Okay, normal match. We'll see how I do. <laughs> Are they just having sex there? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> What's happening here? What's happening here? <laughs> I'm gonna just punch people. I feel like that's gonna be like my function. Damn. It's no surprise that I'm losing. I always lose when I start the games. Well, I touched once the disc. That's something. Get out! <laughs> this fucking Gustavo. <laughs> I'm here. I'll come for you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> something the hell <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay I'm gonna mute stuff and uh, I think uh, for now it's gonna be this thank you and mute all okay damn it's like and now I suck because that's just how it is and I feel like I'm gonna suck much more.
Um, it's kind of like I'm gonna do an analogy on League of Legends also, and like I don't know, maybe on other games as well. Seems like there are like clear roles here. It's like you have a goalkeeper, kinda. You have a, I guess, bruiser that kinda stands people around and not doesn't let um, intercept the discs. And we have like a sniper kinda who, I guess, shoots stuff. <laughs> um, it seems like you can't really uh, play this game and just like do whatever. It's kind of like you need to know what to do clearly. Um, but it's fun. I mean, this is. This is a game with a great potential, of course, because it's free, it's something new and something challenging. That's why it's on the esports scene, basically. Uh, I wish I could switch the controls. So, for example, this for this big break, I don't really want to have pressing in the joystick. This is for me completely bullshit because it's way harder to press the joystick rather than press the button. So for example, I would rather just use arm thrusters all the time because it just pressing button is more convenient than pressing the joystick. Uh, do we have like, uh, uh, give me like the options. Maybe you can like change the controls. Can I change the controls? No, but like I would gladly replace push to talk for the big uh, boost or break. I would gladly change the controls because for me it is not like responsive en enough and it's like it's more effort and it doesn't make sense. That's for me. Because for something that you should use all like very frequently, pressing the joystick makes no sense for me. So I wish there would like patch kind of like an option to modify it. Um, but like other than that, I did not even re encounter any bugs at all besides this screen freezing in the first mi minutes of the game. After that, it was pretty much perfect to me. The gameplay is great. Like I, I dig it, even though I suck at it and I, I will probably practice on playing <laughs> overall. Um, this is something really, really good and really fun that's gonna last and like will be a really good perception of it on the store 100 percent and that's kind of like what i was saying before um but like for a first gameplay and impression for me it's like great it's really pleasant to the player like it introduces well there is a well thought out tutorial and it's like you can start your journey from it easily if you've never played that like like me but like i love it and uh, i'll probably uh, play more in my free time and we'll see how it goes from there so nice good good shit. <laughs>